Good afternoon. It's Thursday, 29th of October. I'm back in the reading nook and I've got a parcel to open. Uh, this is going to be a lot easier to the one I opened earlier. Um, just a simple pull down of the tag. There we go. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. Right. right this is the right way. There we go. This is um, L1, um, uh, The Secret of Bone Hill, which is um, a, 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 an adventure for character levels of uh, second through fourth level um, by uh, Leonard um, Lukovka. Um, it was originally published in 1981 and it um, is available um, a PDF and print on demand from um, the DMs Guild, or basically the um, uh, basically, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link. I'll, I'll put a link through to the review already written of this. Um, the cost is about ten dollars or so, approximately. Um, and what you've got in here is let's just have a look. There should be a map of the region. Again, this is actually is a. Um, Okay, that's a basic area of the map. Um, basically, Tanner Restford, De Restonford down here. There was like Bone Hill over here. I'm just pointing vaguely because I think it's there looking at it because I've just reviewed it this weekend, this last weekend. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mini sandbox um, set on the um, Landor Isles in, um, in the world of Great Hawk. Um, and uh, let's have a look what it says. Um, Danger lurks in the Landor Isles. Bands of evil creatures prowl the hills overlooking the town of Restonford, seeking unwary victims. Now you come to the sleepy little village looking for adventure and excitement. You seek to fathom the unexpected reaches of Bone Hill and unlock the mysteries of Restonford. Okay. Uh, this module contains complete information on the town of Restonford and the land surrounding it. Included herein are encounter tables, background information, and numerous maps of the town, the surrounding areas, dungeon, and various points of interest. Uh, this module can be incorporated into an existing campaign or used uh, in conjunction with the Water Greyhawk fantasy world setting. Okay, so this is an adventure for um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons First Edition, and it's a sandbox. Um, and essentially, what you've got in here is a Selection of a big, a long, a long rumor table, lots of t um, uh, encounter tables. Um, you do have a dungeon, which is quite, a, quite, quite a creepy dungeon in the sense that um, it is occupied or basically guarded by bug bugbears during the day and then the undead at night. Um, and there are some weird, um, sort of fantastic sort of, um, locations, um, both within. Um, the dungeon and the castle atop it. Um, Bone Castle um, is basically it's simply it, it's abandoned apart from the bugbears, of course. But it looks like it's been under siege, and that's that sort of flavour is nicely captured. And then you've got various locations around the town, uh, such as um, an egg-shaped or half egg-shaped um, uh, temple. Where their form of worship takes a uh, it is gambling, and you get basically you get di dice out and you gamble off against each other uh, to win coins. Um, and the town itself is everyone sort of being, is, is the major the, the major um, occupants of the town are also detailed as well. And there's, a, there's like a location in the town which you can investigate and sort of like have an, a mini adventure there as well. Um, so that's the secret of Bone Hill, and it, it, um, I've done a full review of it, and I'll link through to that down below. Um, I, I'm impressed by um, the quality of um, the uh, blueprint. It's really clean. Um, so, I mean, there's a basically where are we? Uh, there's a map of Bone Hill itself. So you've got signs of the siege there, and there's the dungeon below. Um, it's only lightly illustrated, um, like that. I can't get through to anything else. Um, uh, I mean, and that, that's really that's really typical of, of like a D and D first edition um, artwork. Um, the keeps fully is fully mapped out. 
Um, there are some bits and nice pieces, pieces of art, but it's, it's, it's generally okay. I mean, sort of like, it's, it's, it's quite nice. Um, the Arrow Otis cover on the back is kind of a bit, mm, I don't know, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, I don't know if that's entirely relevant. It's sort of nice, but you kind of feel that you're not getting the full picture there. So, uh, this is my first, um, I would say my first uh, basically reprint of a D&D module from uh, the DM's Guild. Um, I think it's not, actually not bad. It is, um, yeah, it's staple bound, um, you know, so, you know, if you were so inclined, you could actually take it apart and, um, you know, relatively easily. Um, and so basically, put the maps to the table and stuff like that, if you were so inclined. But that's Secret of Bone Hill, um, as I say, which I reviewed recently um, because uh, Leonard Lukofka himself was, uh, only just passed away uh, this last Friday. Um, so do check that out. And I will be back with another unboxing um, in the near future. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye for now.